So the story I'm going to share with you today is about my current situation. So last week was a great week because I wasn't working and I was on vacation for a whole week, uh, which was great. We have not had a vacation for a long time. It was long overdue. And the two days before I went on vacation, I actually got fired from my teaching job. And I have never been fired out of any job in my whole life. So that was a completely uh, new experience for me. And... I don't like to bash and I don't want to bash another company or badmouth another company, but I do feel like I have the right to express how I feel and my experience with this company. I just won't say the name of this company. Um, this whole summer I've been working for uh, a company overseas teaching English online to English language learners. I've worked with them seven days a week. I had about 10 to 12 lessons scheduled every day. I was always on time. I have great ratings. Um, the parents have uh, an opportunity to rate my class on a five-star scale after the lesson, and I have 96% of my parents have rated me as five stars. There's a couple that's four and a half and maybe four, and most of those are due to technical issues. Not to toot my own horn, I know we are all growing and we all have things to learn, but I always show up and I always do my best. I'm a perfectionist, and I work hard to do a good job. That's because I take pride in my profession. Regardless, um, out of nowhere, last, um, it was August 12th, I woke up sick and it does happen uh, because I am human. And I woke up at four o'clock in the morning, which is the time I usually wake up because my lessons start at 5 a.m. due to the 12, 13 hour time difference between here and China. And I reported uh, to you know my support. I told them, I'm so sorry, I'm really sick today. I need to cancel my classes. I can't teach in this condition. And I had 10 classes scheduled for uh, August 12th. And then again, August 13th, I had another 10 classes scheduled. Um, that's when I found out that because I was canceling classes uh, before the two hour limit that they required, I was going to be charged and penalized $16 per class. And I don't make $16 per class. So I think that fee is kind of ridiculous. And after those first four classes, which are $16 each, I would be penalized $2 for all other classes afterwards. So I said, okay, well, if that's the case, let's cancel all my classes for August 13th as well, because I'm, if I'm sick today, there's a big chance I'm going to wake up still sick again tomorrow morning, and I don't want to wait till tomorrow morning to see if I'm feeling better, because then I'm going to be charged against $16 per class, and I would much rather be charged $2 per class. So I canceled all my classes for August 12th and 13th. And um, the next, you know, the 14th, I was back at work. I was feeling fine, no problems. And I continued teaching like normal. And about 10 days later, I got a message from them, from the company that says, uh, due to excessive amounts of absences, we are going to cancel your contract as of immediately. And I was like, what? Did I just get fired? Was this, is this for real? Excessive absences? I was only out twice. It was not like a no call, no show. I got sick and I reported it and I didn't hear anything for 10 days. Why is this happening out of nowhere? Um, so it just, I, I don't know if this is the reason or not, but there is, there's definitely a correlation in about the next six days I was due for another upgrade and promotion where I would be getting paid more. Um, I don't know if it's because they wanted to find a way to get rid of me so they didn't have to pay more when they can pay a new teacher coming in a lot less. Don't know what else to blame it on. Uh, they counted the two days absences as 20 absences because I had 10 classes scheduled for each day Instead of counting, oh, this teacher was sick, that's one absence, one day, two absences, two day, they counted every single class. So they said 20 was too many absences, and they fired me. And I was also, I still had seven days worth of classes that were booked. And even though they uh, dismissed my contract immediately, I was still asked and responsible to teach the rest of those classes that were booked or otherwise I would again be penalized. So I did end up teaching those 
And uh, this was two days before um, I was due to go on vacation. I had one week off for the first time. I worked last year as a regular uh, kindergarten teacher all year. I started working for this company, I think it was mid-April. Um, Part-time, I started working for this company over the weekends, knowing that in the summertime I was not going to get paid and I was going to need you know, some income in the summer. I thought this would be a great opportunity. And then I really enjoyed working and teaching online and teaching out of the convenience of my own house. So I decided, okay, I'm going to keep keep pursuing this um, pursuing this path. And so I did not take any time off uh, over the summer until last week. I was working seven days a week, like I said before, and I really needed a break. And it was like the worst timing to get this kind of news right before my vacation. So the next day I spent all day looking at new job opportunities. I sent in an application. I uh, sent in a video with another company that wanted to see a sample of how I teach English. And they were very nice. They responded right away. They said, you know, your interview video was great. We definitely want to work with you. And they scheduled for another actual live face-to-face -face mock interview. And that was scheduled for today. And I did that and I got another email saying that I passed. So I'm really excited that um, I have another job, hopefully, that I can start teaching again soon. So here are some tips for you. Um, they're not completely related to what I talked about, getting hired and fired. But uh, as a first year teacher, or when you're thinking about first week of school or even first days of school, as a kindergarten teacher, preschool teacher, especially if you have students that are coming into school that have not been in school before, um, you might experience a couple of tears. There's going to be kids that are nervous, timid, that don't want to do anything. And I know teachers are, you know, very... Uh, invested in the lessons that they plan and prepare and we put our our blood and sweat and time into designing these lessons that we think are going to be awesome and fun and engaging but you know be open-minded be flexible sometimes kids just need something that's going to take their mind off of i miss mom and sometimes the lesson plan that you prepared is interesting for this you know 28 kids over here but this one kid on this side is just, he's not having it. But out of nowhere, he sees uh, a game that he likes, something that was outside of your lesson plan. Be ready and be open to say yes. Just focus on making your first day fun and exciting. And I know I've heard this before, and a lot of teachers will tell you, um, don't smile the first week of school. Don't smile the first month of school. You need to be uh, tough and you need to show them that you will, they will listen to you and you are in charge. And I guess, I, I don't want to say don't do that because I respect my mentors and my teachers and they do know what they're talking about. And I guess it might depend on the kind of school that you're at, the kind of kids that you're working with. But in my personal opinion, I believe that all children deserve that smile. I believe that all children, regardless of what school you're working at, um, need to feel loved and that you're there to take care of them and that you're going to have fun together. So uh, I've never spent any day um, without smiling, giving hugs, and showing my students I care about them. So I think... In my, in my opinion, and I'm going to say in my opinion a couple, you know, over and over because I want you to understand that I am not saying this is the only way to be or this is the right way or the wrong way. This is just my way and how I feel about teaching. And I think that the first week of school, while yes, it's about setting boundaries and rules and procedures, I think the main, more important underlying fact here is the first week is really about building relationships. It's about connecting with your students, making sure they feel safe and that they feel loved and they're excited to be in your classroom, they're excited to raise their hand, they're excited to engage and know that no matter what, you are going to accept them and you're going to be there for them. I think that kids learn best when they know they are loved and they love you back.
So my first freebie for this video is actually, I'm going to shamelessly plug in my website. My website is readandbloom.com. You can find the details below. You can just click the link. Uh, it is a website about learning how to read and there are many, many free activities that you can just download and use right away in your classroom to teach uh, reading skills for your students. It is, please keep in mind, it is a work in progress. I've just recently started working on this website and I plan to upload and keep adding free materials that you can download and use. Please click the like button, hit subscribe, down below, click the bell if you want to get some kind of notification to remind you and let you know that I just uploaded another video so you can connect with me and share my journey. I truly hope that um, I can be here for you and support you in some shape or form, whether it is by making a lesson plan for you or coming up with an activity or problem solving and troubleshooting some uh, kids that are misbehaving. If you have any questions, any concerns, any ideas, any tips um, for other teachers, for me, please feel free to comment below and I look forward to hearing from you. Till next time, happy teaching.